Space. Final frontier. That's what it's called, right? It's beautiful. Endless. Feel the warmth of the sun millions of kilometers away on my skin without any atmosphere to stand between us. The upside is it's a truly amazing feeling. The downside is I'm truly about to die. Who would have guessed I'd die floating alone in space? You know, I mean, until now, I'd never been any higher up than the top floor of my apartment building, and I only went up there once. My mistake. It all started yesterday. Ordinary day like, like any other. It is un until I got hit on the head. Ouch! Jeez! That was a three-star impact, Wally. Uh, this one needs some work. Three stars? You sure, Ray? R&D insists that this one be a one-star hot hat. One and a half tops. That's some quality hot hats you're testing. You want to trade spots and see for yourself? Three stars. Didn't notice any birds flying around my head, though. Uh, that's something. All right. This one's next. It's a new material R&D wants to try. It says here it's based mostly on... Recycled banana peels and used juice boxes. Saved by the bell, huh? Oh, see you tomorrow, buddy. one to tell you this, but you actually live all the way to the left. Weird, huh? Hard hat tester. No experience required. It seemed like such a good idea at the time. This is Gamma 3. We've encountered storm systems too large to go around without delaying landing time. Uh, please advise. Gamma 3? Sean, you told me your name was Jimmy. Somehow I always forget how much jumping is required to get to and from work. Gamma 3 calling base. Please respond. Base, storm now intensifying beyond safety thresholds. Uh, unusually intense lightning activity observed. Attempting to abort. Uh, emergency support requested. Wow! Plane made out of paper can't take the heat, huh? Or even a little rain? I bet those eggheads you thought up a paper airplane was a great idea, because it wouldn't be detected by enemy radar. I'm feeling pretty smart right now. Tell me you didn't get him to redesign our parachutes, too! Mayday. Oh, Mayday! The lightning now at level 5 alert. The Omega level package is in danger. Repeat, the Omega level package... Son, I appreciate your concern, but my package is in... Where am I? What's this spaghetti arm doing sticking out of my head? Okay, stay calm, Ray. Last thing I remember was leaving work and jumping a lot. And then getting it on the head. Of course! Uh, the hand growing out of my head and this whole crazy world is all a dream. Bottle. Now 
Nice work, me. If I know my subconscious... High five me, Ray. High five me, Ray. I give the best high fives, Ray. High five me instead, Ray. You may think you know high fives, but you haven't experienced a high five until you high five me. Please, please, crazy pin creatures, one at a time. I'll high five all of you, I promise. Whoa, this arm is. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, I'm almost sorry. I'll have to wake up from this. High five me, Ray. But I'm guessing this means I'm a confident, handsome man that everybody loves. <laughs> it, it, probably, right? <laughs> okay, so my head is flooded with elephant juice. And inside are a bunch of gears that aren't moving. Which probably means I'm knocked out, and I need to drain the water from my brain. Got it. Help! Help! I can't hold my breath forever! Oh, and there's a creature swimming around in my head. Not sure what to make of that one, honestly. Uh, can you uh, hear me, little guy? Help! Help! Hey, a sticker of a tap! There. I saved you, crazy alien creature thing. Finally dry at last! But the controls don't work, I need power! If only there was a way to get that heart working again! school and also naked in this one. Again. Arlene's dream dog, aren't you? How's it going, Hart? Oh, there's a good girl. Ahoy! 
Hi, matey! Greetings! I be Redbeard the Scary. I'll have you know that back in my day, I was the most feared pirate on all the seven seas. Bad news, buddy. You're just a figment of my imagination. And this is all a dream. You? Hi. It occurs to me that in real life, skeletons don't talk. Will you do an old sea dog a favor and dream me back to life again? Well, I, I kind of need to lead this dog back to my girlfriend. You've got an arm made of bone, so... I hear you, landlubber. Well, I'd be happy to lend a hand. Oh, <laughs> oh he just realized how well lend a hand worked back there. That wasn't even a heart. Come. Good girl. Who's a good girl? It's you, Heart. You're the best girl. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm so happy. I love you, Heart. I always knew Eileen was the woman of my dreams. But it's nice to have it confirmed. All the pieces are in place. I was just about to leave, but now I think I'll stay after all. Yes, I'll be able to stay here indefinitely. As long as the host survives. Wait, 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 what? Sir, there's been an incident. An incident? A uh, uh, crash, sir, and the subject is missing. Why are you coming to me for instructions? Obviously, I'm going to tell you to find it. It's the most powerful weapon in the universe. Spaghetti! Sp spaghetti in my m m my head! You think? <laughs> wow! What a crazy dream! Oh, good thing dreams are stupid and don't mean anything! You're awake! Perfect. That'll be a lot easier than carrying you out. Huh? What will be easier than carrying me out? This. Get out! What? Your insurance doesn't cover head injury, mister. Get out! Head injury? What? What happened to my head? Hey, hey, quit shoving! Will you just tell me what happened to my head? Hey, 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 easy on the buns! This bandage is all kinds of itchy. Ah! I should just tell it to him straight. Oh, this can't be happening. Ouch! Oh, careful, man. I will you. I'm going to do it. So shiny. Become a so chef, they said. So shiny. I can't do it without it. Holy crap. What the hell? Okay. Okay. I'm hallucinating. Arms don't grow out of heads. I just gotta get home and sleep this off. It, it's all a hallucination, that, that's all. It's uh, just a hallucination that lets me read minds accurately. Hey, listen, do me a favor. I kinda didn't think this through. Obviously. And I left the handbrake on in the car. Could you disengage it for me? Uh, actually, maybe you can do me a favor instead. 
I'm looking for a cab ride home, and... I got my own problems here. Problems I do not want to talk about. Listen, thanks for nothing. I'm just gonna wait here till somebody else comes and disengages my car. Peace! Maybe... I, maybe I can use my hallucination brain arm to read his mind and find out what his problem is. I, I don't know. with the mad nutty smile. If only my own smile had that sparkle that drives you wild. If only I could take back years of poor dental hygiene. If only I could have you back. I gotta find a way to help this dude get his lady friend back. Keep it up, Barbara. We'll win this competition for sure. Especially since my biggest challenger had an unfortunate accident. What? Huh? What was that? Sorry, I was kind of lost in your teeth there. I just love your smile, Don. Uh, Don's my position, not my n uh, You know what? Uh, Don's fine. Honey, I don't care what you're called as long as you keep showing me those sparkly teeth. Stop this dance train. Can't stop this dance train. I am an adult human, and my major criteria in selecting a mate is how shiny their teeth are. I may have made some bad decisions somewhere. However, on the other hand, ooh, shiny teeth. I am an adult. Some might say that murdering a man to win a dance competition is sociopathic. But is it really sociopathic to only see people as obstacles to be overcome by any means possible? Huh, wait, maybe it is. Maybe that's actually the textbook symptom of sociopathy. Oh well, too late now. Ed, where are you? We've been practicing for weeks, and you promised you wouldn't stand me up. Don't do this to me, Eddie. Nobody. Ed, where are you? You. We've been practicing for weeks, and you promised you wouldn't stand me up. Don't do this to me, Eddie. Sewer. Nobody to tuck him in at night. Nobody to give him his belly rubs and his teeth scratches. But he's such a gentle soul. He needs me to take care of him. Chicken! Come get it, buddy! Chicken? Chicken? I'm nature's greatest predator, buddy, and I'm tired of chicken. I got a taste for special treats, and I ain't coming out for anything except human limbs, baby. Delicious human limbs, so long and crunchy, so full of valuable vitamins and minerals. Kind and noble heart here breaks. This can't be real, can it? I thought we'd be together forever. Forever! Oh, I can't believe our relationship is over. 
I hate to see him hurt, but it had to be done, right? It had to be done. Breakups suck, but I still care for him. I just wish everything didn't have to be so sucky. <laughs> is almost ready, but it needs one more spice. But what? Something that tastes of despair. Something that is condensed, liquefied sorrow. Where can I find this ingredient? <laughs> what a kind. The ingredient parfait! This meal, it is. Ah, perfection! Perfection! You can really taste this sorrow! For a bit. Laura and the kids will be ecstatic to see you again. They may show it by screaming at us and running away, but that's just their way. I don't have 
Germany fleet. Beatrice? Is that uh, Beatrice? Where did you get those teeth? <laughs> Good doggy. Good doggy. <laughs> Carry me, Luigi. Carry me at that one faster, Luigi. Nice. And it's not too late for the competition. How can I ever say thanks? Well, uh, I could use a drive. I've got it. I'll dance for you, and then we can talk about Silver Surfer. Ah, uh, for the NES? Aw, oh, man, I really want to talk about this, but I'm late. Ed, you made it! Where were you? Locked in a trunk, but this stranger wandered in and helped me out. Uh, it's been a good day for that, I think. Let's dance. An amazing set! First place goes to... Rachel and Ed for their routine, Rachel's Education in Dance. This is an outrage. I paid good money to ensure my victory. Ah, I'm so angry, I could swallow my teeth. I could literally swallow my teeth. <laughs> I'll save you, Don. I'll save you, Don's teeth. are so sparkly. They feel good. They feel right. What am I doing here? I need to go show Barbara. Barbara, I'm back. And I got a mouthful to say to you. Bernie, is that you? You're so sparkly. Oh, Bernie. Where did we go wrong? We didn't, Barbara. Just forget it. Everything up to now is non-canon. Canonicity starts right now. Hey, thanks for the ride home, Bernie. Thanks for reminding me what's really important. Love. Sparkly teeth. Finally. I'm just a few jumps away from home, where I can put all these hallucinatory spaghetti arms and oddly accurate mind reading behind me. <sighs> Aline, I'm home. I've had the craziest day, honey. Uh, check it out. Think of a number between negative gazillion and infinity plus three. Bet you 50 bucks I can read your mind. 